This is part two of Cut to the Core. Let's make some apple style painty papers. I did cut one the size of the journal page that I'm going to be working with. And then I cut two apples out the same size but so that they fit front to back like that. And I decided I was going to make a, uh, what do you call it, accordion fold out with the apple pie recipe. So this will get glued down to the page. These two will get glued together. As you can see, I got a magnet there and that's going to be to hold it closed. And I might use two strong magnets. I don't know. I got one weaker one, one stronger one. We'll see. How this goes if I put the magnet there. I'm testing now to see if it's going to hold all the papers of the accordion fold out. Maybe I'll put the magnet in the middle like that. Or I was thinking about putting it under the picture of the apple pie. And yes, I put some glitter glue on top of the apple pie <laughs> to make it sparkle. Only because I did glaze the pie with some egg white and sprinkle some sugar on. So that's supposed to represent the sugar. I used the Dollar Tree Crafter Square glue, kind of a gold color, because it just happened to be sitting on the table. Dangerous to have glue sitting on the table. Okay, and the next thing I did was cut some sheets of notebook paper to a size that will fit on the apple and this will get glued down one page on here like this and then to do the accordion I'm just going to be I'll glue this one on here like that and then I get a whole bunch of them here <laughs> and I'll glue that one on like that and I'll just keep going until I have enough for all the little apple pie recipe pictures I think there's 10 of them I believe there's 10 of them but before I glue these all together to make the accordion I'm going to first test See what magnet's going to hold them and then um, I'm going to paint them. Yeah, I'm going to make them crinkly painty papers. Since I got the watercolor paint out to do the backgrounds, I think I'll just watercolor them those same colors. Uh, let's see how many I have. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need one more. No. Um, 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 um. Is that how it goes? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Nine, ten. Because this will get glued down on the page. All right. So I'm going to need all this paper. This is the accordion. When I put it together, I'll show you that a little bit better. And this is going to be attached to the apple. And let's see. Let's try it with this way. And I got the other magnet back here. And let's see if that sticks to hold that down. Okay, this magnet is stronger than that one, but it seems to be holding it pretty well. And that'll go on there, and that'll go on there, and then when these are attached, this will come out like an accordion with the recipe on it. Okay, but that's not happening yet. Okay, I'm going to use the same paints. Reeves Emerald Watercolor. Well, that's in English. C-O-L-O-U-R. 
Must be a UK product. Where was this made? England. Hmm. Okay, all I'm going to do is um, move the pictures out of the way <laughs> so I don't splash them. And I'm just going to play with these watercolors. Maybe put some of this lighter color on. This is really a pretty, pretty green. And this will make the paper kind of crinkly and fun. I'll probably do both sides. So I'll do all of them on one side and then go back and when they're a little bit dry, do the other, or can I do both sides at one time? Um, no, I'm going to do one side at a time. So I'm just going to throw them down on the floor. And unlike the paper that I printed the apples on, this is just just background. That's my bird clock. And these are all going to be basically the same. So I will do most of these off camera and just come back, um, show you how they look and do the other sides. Okay, to make it a little more interesting, I decided to paint with the kitty tail. No, just kidding. <laughs> she just jumped up in my lap. I decided to just um, put splatters on there, yeah. So sticking to the greens though. So, okay. Would be interesting though with the cattail, huh? <laughs> Here are my dried pages. Looking good. I love the two green colors together. This was permanent green light and emerald, which is the dark green. And I think this gets glued down. I think it goes this way. But when this is attached to the page and this is attached to the apple, you'd be able to pull it out like an accordion, but I have to glue it. so. Let's get this right. This will be glued to the apple, which I can do right now. I'm reaching back to get an apple. And um, maybe this one. So this will get glued onto here. And they just fit on the apple like that. So, I don't want to get glue on this. This is my painty paper. I don't want to get that glued up. Saving that. So I got to reach up here for some paper. Oops, I got this magazine. So I did both sides and instead of just attaching them at the seam, I'm going to glue the whole entire page down because that's kind of just how I planned it. So the first thing is here comes Kitty. She's very interested today. I have not been home for like a week. I mean, I've been home, but in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out every day. So this is my first day. She gets, in a week, she gets to spend some time. Of course, she's going to stand up on the table. Oop, get on my shoulder. I'll do the first couple. And then I will... the rest of them together. Okay, 
So the first picture will go there. And next page. I sort of had these in kind of like an order, except for I moved them and now I don't. Okay. Alright, I think this one went here. So I'm going to glue this whole thing down onto this. So that is the first one there. Like that. And then this will get glued on here. See, this is going to work good for me because this is thin paper and I'm going to be mounting photos on them. So by doubling each one, I think I shall be okay. And then when all this glue is dried, I'll do the journaling on last. So this goes here. I can't see my folds now after I painted it. Okay, the fold is right there. All right, we'll do it this way. So I can see what I'm doing. Get that right up to the fold. Okay, so you see now how it's going to be accordion and each page is doubled. So now I'm going to glue this to here. So I'm going to put the glue right there. I'm always thinking maybe putting a strip of washi tape where these seams are. So let me do the gluing first and then I just might do that. After I get them all together. I put a little bit of washi tape where the seams were and the paper got less crinkly when I glued it so I've been sitting here crinkling it a little bit. I, I wanted it a little bit with the crinkly look but when I glued it down to the you know so that there's two thicknesses it was a little wrinkled, but not very crinkly. But I'm going to have to live with that, I guess. You can see on here how flat it is when I glued it down. So I crinkled it a little bit because I wanted it crinkled. Okay. I wanted it fun and crinkly. Okay, now I have to plot out my pictures and my journaling and then get the page put together. So, I've got to put my pictures in order first. Okay, I've got each picture on the place where it's supposed to be, and hopefully that'll stay in order, and I will go ahead and glue this down. It's too long to get all the way under the camera there. So I am just going to glue these down, and then I'll do a little bit of journaling next to the pictures and then I'll come back to put the page together. And now Possum Patty's perfect apple pie recipe. You need to start with 8, 10, 12 depending on the size of the apples. Nice tart apples. You're going to pare, core, and thinly slice enough apples to overfill a pie pan. You don't want it straight. You want a nice rounded mound on top of that pan. In a large mixing bowl, add about a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar to the apples. Mix in one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a dash of nutmeg. Be sure to have the proper feline supervision. Add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and in this case, I used gluten-free baking flour. 
Now this is Bob's Red Mill gluten-free one-to-one baking flour. After mixing together, you place the whole thing into the pie crust bottom. And I use the Maine Pie Company deliciously gluten-free, ready-to-bake nine-inch pie shells that are in the frozen food section of your supermarket. And they are very good. You get two shells, so you can use one for the bottom and one for the top. Before adding the top crust, dot with butter or non-dairy spread, whatever you're into. Then you add the top crust. You pinch along the edges to squish them together. And then you take your fork and you stab it to make an A, a big A, in the top crust. A for apple pie. What I do is I put foil strips around the edge. So I take little strips of foil and I place it around the edge so that that edge doesn't get overdone. Bake uh, in a 400 degrees preheated oven for 50 minutes or until done, maybe a little less, a little more, depending on your oven. Enjoy warm, topped with your favorite ice cream. Yum, yum. And of course, in this case, the ice cream is dairy-free and the pie crust is gluten-free, but it was still very good. So here's my accordion <laughs> book. So now let's get this page put together. Where's the journal? So now we've got to get this into the journal, which is kind of thin, but this is definitely going to puff it out. And I think I'm just going to put it on the white page right there. So that's going to go there. I have a little bit of that left over I can use for something. So I got to mark where this is going to go. And it has to be... Um, I switched out that darker one for the silver one because it's going to go through so much paper. I'm going to put a little bit of a stronger one on there. All right, so that means that moved, okay. So let's move it back. <laughs> See, look. And that is through all that paper. And this is heavy paper. And then I've got like that whole accordion thing in the middle. But these magnets do the job, let me tell you. So that's gonna go there. So I want that right in the middle right in the middle like that right in the middle 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 all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark it got to go there and that's got to go there and now i'm going to take this off for now and i'm going to put a little dab of glue in here oh, I forgot which way it has to go let's see um, that way I'll test it again when uh, I put the apple on the top make sure they're in the right direction that is important or else they're going to repel each other and not attract each other. Okay, this is heavy paper. I think what I'm going to do is, 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 stand by, stand by. Let me a sheet of something. Okay. Use a tacky glue. And a lot of it to hold this down because that's heavy paper and I'm going to be pulling you know, on that magnet constantly up and down. So I just love interaction pages, but they take so long to do. 
but that's okay. No problem. I don't think I really planned on doing this much work for this page. <laughs> and painting all these papers and such. And getting my little spread thing. I don't think that was the plan. But that is okie dokie. this down on here and let's see it's a little crooked but that's okay a little crooked is possum perfect as we say Now that this paper is so thick, but you can still feel the magnet right there. Okay, that's kind of sticky. I'm going to get it out of the way. All right, so. Now this. The back of the last page has to get glued down to this, like that, like that. So we kind of want that centered. So this has to get glued. Grab another paper. Grab my glue stick. I really, really, really need to clean off the table and dust the window ledge. Do I put a little tacky glue on there? Sure, why not? Because we need a strong base. For the accordion, I just found two more of my glue spreading cards. Okay, Get that out of the way, and center this right on the page. I could go back and decorate the back of this, <laughs> but my goodness, that's a lot of work. But they're all painted nice, pretty to look at, but I could add mm, stickers or different things to the back if I wanted to at some point in time. Okay, that's down there pretty good, pretty good. Okay, now do the magnet bit. Okay, the magnet moved a little bit. Now it's down there, but that's okay. Put some glue. Top and bottom. And now this goes, oh, I gave my uh, pie a little bit of that green paper background because I had made an extra page. And then I just put those cartoon <laughs> marks. I don't know what they mean. Like it's warm or it's great or it's delicious. I don't know. They mean something, right? Those little cartoony marks. Get this full of glue. Okay, we'll do this side. And I think I'm going to use this again. Oh, I know. I was going to look for a leaf. I had this another idea while I was doing all this. A major project. I baked an apple pie and it took me two days to journal about it. 
but that's okay. Oh, I still got to finish my moon cake too. And my Elvis. I did my china, most of it. Oh, and I can do the fair. We went to the fair. I got to do the fair too. I better make a list. Make a list, boss and Patty. You're going to forget. You're going to forget. Tonight I will make a list. I know that's a lot of glue, but, you know, this is a working piece of interactive journal page. Oops. Okay. This is very colorful. <laughs> this is very colorful. Very, very colorful indeed. Press it down on this side. Okay, what I'm going to do is see if I can find a green leaf to put right there you know like a fabric or plastic leaf or something okay i got out my tub of leaves here too big to put under the camera and in this bag of miscellaneous i found a little leaf i think will work perfect right there so let me go put these away i think i'm going to bring the end of a leaf a little bit more to a point I hope it doesn't unravel too much. Use a little bit of Fabri-Tac to stick that on there. I'm just going to glue the tip of it. Okay, just going to put it right there. And that'll take a while to dry because that's Fabri-Tac. Oops, see. But it will dry. And here we have, <laughs> what a project, right? Possum patties, perfect apple pie recipe. Interactive fun and the magnet will hold it all closed. Well, that kind of chunks this up a little bit right in the middle. I can't close it though, cause I gotta let that dry. I like it, I like it. So thanks for coming along for this two day project. <laughs> I hope you'll have some messy fun. It was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed this, I did. And I just wanna wish everybody happy junk journaling, happy daily journaling. Thanks for coming along today, bye bye.